I was a young girl. I used to play under these trees. It's quiet and peaceful, and now I enjoy my walks through the trees to get water for my family. Hopefully one day my children will be able to play here as well. My name is Fatima. I'm three months pregnant. I live in the Atlas Mountains of Morocco. It is very hot and very remote. So we have to make do with what we have. Every morning, I bake bread for my family. I have a three-year-old daughter named Samira. I wish I could send her to school, but it is too far and too expensive. I do my best to teach her about plants and herbs so she can learn how to provide for her own family one day. Over the years, I've seen many cases of pregnant women dying from childbirth in rural areas of my country. My name is Dr. Katov and I'm obstetrician from Rabat, Morocco. A couple of years ago, I was invited to participate in the mobile ultrasound patrol program. Wireless technology makes it possible to give scans anywhere and share the results. Now I can take my equipment to pregnant women in the mountains and give them the prenatal care they need. Before, dying from birth complication was more frequent, but now this is avoidable with a simple scan. Unfortunately, these women are so remote that it isn't realistic for them to go into town to get the care they need. The nearest health house is very far away. I would have to ride my donkey for two hours to get to the main road and then wait for a ride to take me into town. When I heard the doctor was coming to our area and that he would be scanning pregnant women, I couldn't believe it. I didn't have any ultrasounds when I was pregnant with Samira. And luckily for me, everything went well. But I do know of other women who had complications and were not able to make it into town for help in time to save their lives. I was nervous before visiting Dr. Katouf. He scanned my belly and recorded the image onto his mobile device. Then he showed me my baby for the first time, and that made me feel such relief. It is incredible how easy it is for me to send high-quality ultrasound and receive life-saving second opinions with a tap of a button from somewhere as remote as this. I send the scan directly to a specialist in the city who can read it and offer a diagnosis. He receives it instantly and soon Fatima will know she and her baby look healthy. By identifying high-risk pregnancies early, we are able to advise pregnant women who need further treatment at a health house in the city so they can avoid any complications during delivery. Since we were introduced to this mobile technology, I'm very happy to say the mortality rate for my patients is now at zero. Participating in this program has been life-changing both for me and my patients. With access to this kind of technology, women and doctors can now have peace of mind knowing their pregnancy are healthy.